When analyzing or presenting information using statistical data graphics, it is common to look at a number of related graphs. For example, the viewer of a bar chart may want to switch to a pie chart to view relative percentages, transition to a scatter plot to look for correlations between two variables, or drill down by breaking up the data by categories. Animation is one promising approach for facilitating perception of changes when transitioning between data graphics. Using design guidelines motivated by research of human perception, we have developed DynaViz, a system supporting animated transitions for statistical data graphics. DynaViz provides animations for a number of different transition types, including changes of perspective, filtering operations, and viewing changes of data over time. In some cases, changes of value require changing the axis scales. Here we show a sorting operation. Animating everything at once can result in items occluding each other. By slightly staggering the movement of each of the bars, DynaViz makes the sort easier to follow. Here a bar chart becomes a radial donut chart. By growing the wedges to take up the whole circle, we form a pie chart. We can also perform drill down operations, breaking up the data further into distinct categories. We can then unstack the bars to view the same data as a grouped bar chart. Of course, we can always reverse the transitions to return to the view we started with. We might want to compare different variables in a scatter plot to look for correlations. Here, we keep the y-axis values as the same as the bar chart, but use the x-axis to show a new variable. Animation is also helpful for showing transformations to the data. Here we show applying a base 10 log transform to the data. Both data and axes smoothly animate to show the results of the transform. Visual encoding such as shape, color, and size could be used to visualize additional data dimensions. To evaluate the use of animation in data graphics, we ran two controlled experiments. The first experiment asked users to follow two targets across an animated transition and click their final positions. To better test how animation affects memory, we masked the display after the transition by turning it black. We compared static transitions, direct transitions in which all items animate at once, and staged animations where movements were split up over time. Our results found significant benefits for animation and found that staged animations, which split up movements through staggering or separate stages, consistently improved accuracy. The one exception was for changes in a scatter plot, where two quick transitions in a row were more difficult to follow than one longer transition. The second experiment asked users to follow a single target undergoing a change of value and then estimate the percentage change. The timing of transitions was slightly longer to accommodate some more complicated transitions. For stacked bar charts and donut charts, we experimented with more aggressive staging that separated translational movements from changes of value. To separate translations and value changes while also avoiding occlusion required a number of animation stages. Our results again found significant benefits for animation. Change estimation using simple staged animations that separated axis scale changes from other changes performed better than direct animations that combined both. The more complicated transitions for stacked bars and donut charts provided no benefits, arguing that the complexity of aggressive staging may outweigh any benefits gained from doing one thing at a time. Overall, users significantly preferred animation over static transitions, and furthermore, significantly preferred simple staged animations to direct animations. The overwhelming majority of users expressed the desire to use animated transitions in their own data analysis and presentations.